What's a life not well lived, you know? Not pushing and seeing what you can actually physically do and making change and inspiring people to get after it. Let's go! G'day guys, I'm Ned Brockman. I just spent 46 days of running 100k a day basically from Cottesloe Beach in Perth to uh, Bondi Beach in Sydney, Australia. Yeah, I started running in 2020 uh, just to get a bit fit, to be honest. I'm a sparky electrician by trade. So yeah, I definitely wouldn't even call myself an ultra runner. I'm just a doer, a goer. I love just seeing what the body can do. So when I first set out to run across the country, I was hoping to raise a million dollars for charity, but I was also hoping to, just to be honest, inspire a whole lot of people to keep getting up and get going. days that were tough on the run, I'd just scream and I'd tell people I was screaming and I'd tell people I cried for three hours and I'd tell people I couldn't move my feet. But when I was happy, I'd tell people I, how, how good I felt. And I think the raw emotion people got. On the 12th day, my shin muscle um, became so inflamed that basically you got to treat it as if it's a stress fracture in your bone. But I was like, I've got to, I've got to run, I've got to get this done. A lot of like days where I was just down and out and like had to find some motivation to keep going but it's hundred percent physical and it's hundred percent mental. They're just legends. Incredible. Like I choked up and I went, nah this is your time. And it was just so loud, like it was deafening. It was unbelievable. And for what I've been through to get there it was just yeah, so rewarding, so rewarding. Oh, without a doubt, I do it ten times over. I obviously had to run through a lot of injury, but you know, there's good, there's good surgeons out there for, for knees and hips. It means so much more to me than sitting back and, and being, you know, self-preservation. I woke up the next day after I finished going, I could 100% run 100k if I had to, but I don't need to, and I've, I've inspired a nation and raised a whole lot of money, so I'm yeah, incredibly proud of what, what I've achieved because it's just such a massive thing. <laughs>